in terms of utilizing the slap hitting with your offense, uh, some of the advantages that it, that it is uh, for your team and for your offense is that it creates a lot of pressure and puts a lot of pressure on the defensive team. Now we'll talk a little bit later in the video about how to effectively defense slap hitters. But for right now, the advantage for you offensively is it makes it very difficult to defense. If you play a team, for example, that's not used to playing against slap hitters, you'll find it opens up a lot of avenues and a lot of holes for your uh, batters to get on base. As I said, uh, it creates a lot of pressure and puts a lot of pressure on the defense in that they've got to make a clean play very quickly, a perfect throw to first base to get your batter out. Any kind of bobble, any kind of mistake, and you'll find that you're going to end up with a runner safe at first. Another thing to look at as a coach is not necessarily looking at your batting averages for your slap hitters. It's not necessarily the average that they, that they have, but how often are they getting on base? Because what you'll find, they'll get on base an awful lot in terms of walks, in terms of uh, errors uh, by the defense, both fielding errors and throwing errors that might not show up in the batting statistic, but they're on base an awful lot, and that's going to allow them to score runs for you. It enables you to take a, an offense that might not be very strong and produce runs from it. All right, so you can sort of create some offense with a slap hitting philosophy. Ideally, we like to put our slap hitters at the top of the order, number one and number two, or at the bottom of the order, number eight and number nine. Uh, so they sort of clump together in, in the lineup then, eight, nine, one, two, that type of thing. Those are the runners that are going to get on base and allow your more powerful hitters to drive them in and score runs for you.